Hey guys, so it's been a very rainy, dreary day today, and I'm getting ready to go into the Conover, North Carolina Goodwill to see what they have available today. First up is this gaming style chair. They're asking $10 for it, and they have this bird cage for $15. It comes with all of the accessories you see there. There's also a couple of outdoor chairs here, and there's a bed frame. If you need closet organizers, then a really good place to look is your thrift stores. I have a friend that likes puzzles and her birthday's coming up, so I want to check out the puzzles real quick. That's not a puzzle. Neither is his. That here, that should be like a square. Okay. Oh, right in. I want to show you something real quick. A lot of times you can find things that are not where they should be, and this is no fault of the employees. Customers will pick things up to buy them, decide they don't want it, and just sit it down anywhere. Yes, I have to check it and see if it works. That's one of the fun things about going thrifting. You get to play with things to see whether or not they work, whether it's toys, decor, or whatever. It's kind of like being a kid in a toy store sometimes. I think this is one of those little portable lock desks. It is. I love these things. They really come in handy sometimes if you want to do work in the bed or on the couch in the evening. Or if you're in the car, on a car ride, whether you just want to read a book or have a snack or whatever, they are handy. And of course, don't try to read a book while you're driving. I was strictly talking about if you're the passenger. These clocks are so cute and the alarms on them definitely wake you up. My problem is I can't sleep with one of these clocks anywhere near the bedroom because they got that tick, tick, tick all night long and it's really loud like you cannot muffle that ticking sound i'm a light sleeper though and if you're not it might not bother you but it sure bothers me Grandmother used to use a coffee percolator like this on a gas stove. That sure brings back a lot of memories. This metal pitcher would be really cute for a floral arrangement on a dining room table or even an outdoor table for that matter. I've been finding a lot of clocks lately. Alarm clocks, tabletop clocks, wall clocks, you name it, clocks, clocks, clocks. That purple one's kind of cute, but I don't need a purple clock. This clock back here had two um, matching candle holders. I guess someone must have bought those and left it behind though. Yes, there's a plug right 
Here's a rooster clock for any of you who like farmhouse style decor. It's weird because I've bought about three or four different clocks lately. I used to hardly ever see clocks, but now that I've bought a few, I keep seeing clocks everywhere. It's just crazy. like this one, but I think the color of that frame is just a little bit off for the room I would use it in. There's no music blasting over the speakers tonight. I like being in here and shopping when the music is not blasting. There's only one of these candlesticks, and I don't think it's anything special. And this relish dish is just cut glass. I know it can be problematic because sometimes the labels get blocked on things, but I think it is so great that Goodwill employees now put saran wrap around these items. It's really quiet in the store right now, even though there's other customers in here. I really like it when it's quiet in here. I just think it makes it less chaotic for you guys when you're watching the video. Because this thing's going to be damaged. $8. See, now it's all bumpy and wavy from having pictures of the rest. Oh, let me pull that out. mirror for $15. I can't see the artwork behind there because it's so big. I'm, I don't want to move it. I'm afraid I'll break something. That's $25. There's some flower pictures back here. This one's $25. That one. 
I don't see a price on it. It's pretty, but I don't see a price on it. It's long. There's only one. Got picture frames. used to find a lot of good purses, name brand purses, in really good shape and goodwill, and I just don't anymore. I don't know if it's because other customers are just coming in and buying them up so fast, or if resellers are coming in and buying them. I really just don't know. I just know I don't find the nice purses like I used to. Let's take a brief look through the clothing and maybe some shoes because I have been seeing a lot of newer shoes and boots in Goodwill lately. And since summer's right around the corner, I have been on the lookout for some linen pants, shorts, or skirts for summer. Look at these boots, they look like they're brand new. And look at the treads, they look like they've never been worn. I know a lot of you resellers look for stuff like this, and I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of newer shoes and boots in our Goodwills lately. I don't know what's going on, but look at these, they still have the original tags on them. It's closing time, I gotta go. Okay guys, so I just finished shopping at Goodwill. I got there really late, so I only had just a brief period of time to look around. Didn't get to go through the whole store, but I did get to show you what they had in the way of home decor, which wasn't a lot. Um, there's a few things, but nothing I was really wanting to buy this evening. Had some donations that I keep forgetting to drop off every time I go to the one, one of the local thrift stores. I keep forgetting I have these donations that have to be dropped off. Goodwill does not accept donations after a certain point in the evening, so I absolutely could not have dropped those off there this evening. So I have to remember and get that done. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I hope to see you again for the next video. Love you. Bye.